Welcome to my third tutorial on creating a threefold brochure. In this tutorial I'm going to complete this panel uh, and I'm going to use styles for this bulleted list and I'm also going to prepare some styles, some heading styles, numbered list styles ready for this page. Um, since the last tutorial I've been and gathered one, two, three images that are going to be used in the rest of this brochure and place them in the folder along with the rest of the files that I need to use. I've also prepared a text file ready for use in this tutorial. So let's get going. The moment I have one large text box what I'm going to do is to reduce that to a, a small box. I'm going to try again. Okay, That will be the heading for this page get the text for the heading, go back, use the story editor, insert the text and update and exit the editor. Okay. Um, I also need the properties dialog because this is, is just a one-off heading I'm not going to set a style I'm going to do it in this way centered, larger uh, and in this case I think I'm going to add shadow that looks great okay I'm going to add a second text frame make it nice and big to start with I can always make it small later and into there I'm going to insert the text for my bulleted list always through the story editor now if I paste text in here now with no style set each paragraph shows with no style and then I have to change each one later that's a pain so I'm not going to do that I'm going to delete it and first I'm going to create a new style edit edit styles get me to this edit styles menu but there are many ways to get here as you'll see later click new to create a new style give it a name and in this case it will be bulleted list one and what I'm going to do is just indent a little everything but the first row and that's because in Scribus there is no uh, actual defined bulleted or numbered list method this is how you do it you create your own indented paragraph so let's go with that save it change the style I must change the style here by clicking on it and selecting the style now everything I paste in will take on that style. I could update and exit here but actually I'm just going to choose to update. Let's see what happens. There you go we update the frame without closing the story editor and you can do that as often as you like. You'll notice that there's no bullets Well, what I need to do is to insert a bullet. So insert menu. Now I could go to the character menu and choose bullets or these sort of regular things but I'm going to choose insert glyph and I get a huge range of characters I might pick something from let's see uh, where's the one I like to use mm -hmm. it's a lot of characters to look at <laughs> okay let's let's try that that could be my bullet insert there it is and then I'm going to put a couple of spaces in and update. Now you can see that doesn't quite work. The C in Cambridge is too far across the page. I need to indent the rest of the paragraph more. Or perhaps just remove one of my spaces. How would that work? Update. Oh, actually, with just one space, that works very well. Save me having to change the uh, style. Okay. So I'm going to copy the paste and the bu copy the bullet and the space and paste it into the beginning of each of the other paragraphs. Try again. Copy. Paste. Oh, I keep selecting a character. Update all. Great. Just what I was looking for. OK. Close the frame reduce this size and insert my image at the bottom and then I'm going to be finished. 
there we go double click or right click and choose get image up to you browse to the correct folder find the image and input it as always you need to then go image scale to frame size that actually looks very good indeed I'm pretty happy with that I can always go file print preview have a look where I, where we are yeah I like that I think we can go with that okay so click save and in the next lesson all I'll have to do is to complete this back page just before I close for now I'm going to prepare some styles for that back page um, if we look at the PDF file most of the text was the standard size we've used in the document which is 12 these headings look to be the same size to me but bold and these main headings this one and this one look to be larger and bold what I can do is prepare those styles in advance to get at my styles menu I can just go edit paragraph styles yet another way of getting at this menu new I'm gonna call the first style body this is the style for the main body of the document and it's just default default font 12 point okay next font is going to be the same as that but bold so I'm going to duplicate the body fo font change its name I'm going to be called copy of body it'll be called body bold and you don't choose bold from one of these buttons you choose it here from the font type not regular but bold okay and then I just want to do my two headings which will use the same font so I can also duplicate body again and this one will be heading 1 this one will be size 14 and bold okay and duplicate heading 1 to make heading 2 and act 12 but retaining the bold okay save my new styles those styles are saved attached to this document so I can now safely close this document next time I open it to complete the final page those styles will be there I hope that's been useful thank you for listening